Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how I make the spring style wooden salad tongs from one piece of wood. These are a great project for when you only have a couple hours to spend in the shop and they also make a great craft fair project or a great gift, so let's jump right in. I'm using hickory for this project because it can handle the spring action of the salad tongs. I made a few of these so I have a template that I trace out, but I will try to call out all the dimensions as I go. The board I'm starting out with is 12 inches long, 3 inches wide, and 3 quarters of an inch thick. I'll start by drawing out the shape of what I want the salad tongs to be. What's real important here is that the handle for the salad tongs are 1 inch wide and at least 8 inches long. Now on the handle side, I'm going to mark a line an inch and a half from the end, and then I'm going to mark a second line an inch and 3 quarters from the end. Now I'm going to mark lines to split the width of the end into three sections, or I'll mark it 5 sixteenths of an inch from each side. And I'm also going to mark out another line 6 inches from either end. Next I'm going to mark a line down the center of the thickness of the board on all four sides. I'll extend the marks I made at the end of the handle to go all the way down to the 6 inch mark. And finally I'll use my square to extend the marks I made an inch and a half from the end all the way around the board. My salad tongs are going to have forks in them, so I'm drilling two half inch holes at the end of where the forks are going to be. Now with the bandsaw, I'm setting up to cut the thickness of the board. I'm just moving the guide down into place so I can get a good clean straight cut. Now I can start cutting. I'll follow the line that I made earlier all the way down to the inch and a half mark before the end of the handle. Once I've reached that inch and a half line, I'll stop the bandsaw and let the blade come to a stop before backing the piece off. Now I'll lay the board down on the bandsaw, adjust the guide again, and start cutting out the shape of the tongs. Once the shape's cut out, I can go back and cut the three sections that go down the handle to the six inch mark. Now back at the bench, I can extend the inch and three quarter marks I made earlier all the way around the salad tongs. I'll mark out the two outside sections between the two lines that I've made on one side of the salad tongs, and then I'll flip them over and mark out the center section on the opposite side. I'll also draw a line down at the six inch mark on the center section of this side. It's a little difficult for me to explain, but you could always rewind this section and watch it a couple times if you need to. Next I'll drill a 1 8 inch hole down the width of the handle. I want to put the hole in the side of the handle that has the two outside sections marked off. This will all make sense here in a couple of minutes. After the holes drilled, I want to clamp the salad tongs down to my workbench using a hold fast. Next I'm going to start chiseling out the waste that I marked out earlier. I'm going to make a vertical line closest to the end of the handle and a 45 degree line coming in to meet it. The vertical line I'm chiseling should meet up with the bandsaw line I made earlier. Um, I'm going to want to work slow here and take small cuts. I don't want to break anything so I'm real gentle with it as I'm working my way down. Once I've chiseled far enough down, I'll feel the two sections break loose. At this point I can flip the salad tongs over and start on the center section of the other side. Now on the opposite side, I'm going to chisel out the center section near the end of the handle and down at the 6 inch mark. Again with this side, I'm going to work my way down real slow, taking small chips. Um, my end goal is to remove the center section here on the one side of the salad tongs. Um, so I want to be careful not to break anything. And just like with the first side, when I chisel down far enough, I'll feel the two sides break loose from each other, and I'm able to unclamp it and pull the two halves apart. Once 
Once I have the two halves separated, I'll take the half that has the all three sections on it still and mount it back into my workbench. I'm going to pair back the two outer sections just about an eighth inch on each side. Doing this will help me tune the spring force of the salad tongs. The more you pair off the sides, the less spring force that'll have, but the less open the tongs will be when you put them together. Next I'm just cleaning up and rounding over the hinge sections of both sides. Once all the hinge parts are cleaned up, then I'll put the salad tongs back together temporarily. I'll mark out the outer facing parts of the salad tongs uh, where I'm going to carve away some material. To carve the spoon sections of the salad tongs, I'm using a variety of chisels and scrapers, but you could very well just use a Dremel tool or um, a sander, or whatever gets the job done easiest for you. If I were trying to knock out a bunch of these to give as gifts or to sell at a craft show, I'd definitely use a machine of some sort. Once I've finished carving out the face of the spoons, I'll put it in my vise and start using a rasp and sandpaper to shape the outside. I used hickory on this project because of its ability to flex, but I will say that carving hickory is very difficult to do and it leaves a stringy mess. Uh, it's not much easier when you're using files and rasps. Once all the carving and sanding's done, I'm ready to put the tongs together and insert an eighth inch dowel through the hole I drilled earlier. I'll insert the dowel into the tongs and then cut it a bit oversized. Then I can remove it and apply glue. I want to apply glue just to the outside portions. I don't want any glue to get to this tong that has the center part of the hinge. And since these are going to be used in the kitchen, I want to make sure I use a waterproof glue. I'm using the leg vise on my workbench to press the dowel into place. After I press the dowel in, I want to make sure that everything is moving freely and nothing's bound up. I want to make sure that the tongs are working properly and then I'm ready for finish. For these salad tongs, I'm using General Finishes Salad Bowl Finish. This stuff goes on pretty easy. I'm going to put three coats on and sand with 400 grit between each coat. And then at the end, I'll apply a little bit of Butcher Block Wax. And that's it. I hope you like this project. And if you did, I hope you hit that like button. And I hope you subscribe to the channel. Thanks.